Hey, it's Tanya from My Fancy Design Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a balloon letter in Procreate. I will be using my balloon letter stamp set, and it comes with all the letters, 104 stamps, with the shape, shadow, highlight, and shadow two stamps. Today I'm going to show you how to use that, as well as some tips. And so let's choose the letter A. Main thing is you want to remember the size that you're using for the shape. This is going to help you with the other stamps that you're going to add. So I have mine at about 40%. I'm going to add a couple colors to my shape. So I alpha locked that layer and you'll see me um, add my colors with a monoline brush and then adding a Gaussian blur. Now that we've done our shape, the second step is to add a dark outline. So we're going to add a new layer, change that to a clipping mask, tap on that end and change a layer setting to overlay. Then with the color black and another modeling brush, you're just going to outline the shape. It does not have to be perfect because um, we're going to actually add a Gaussian blur to it. Next, we're gonna add another clipping mask, change that layer setting overlay, and with the color black, we're going to stamp on the shadow stamp, and make sure you just change that size to the shape stamp. And you can also tap on that arrow to adjust the placement, and we're gonna add another Gaussian blur. And you wanna make it where it's not totally blurred out, but enough where you can kinda of see the lines. Now it's time to add your highlights. So adding another clipping mask, and you're going to change that layer setting to add. And with the color white, you're going to stamp on the highlight stamp. Remember changing that size. See here, I forgot to, so I just kind of did the undo button, changed it to 40% and added it again. And then you want to add another Gaussian blur. Now, sometimes the highlights might become too bright, like right in that area. This is usually depending on what color you're using. Um, so what you can do is before you add that Gaussian blur, you can just thin out that line a little bit with the eraser tool and then add the Gaussian blur again. The last step is to add the shadows to stamps. So adding another clipping mask, changing that to overlay and with the color black, you're going to stamp on shadows too. Now these are usually the creases in the balloon. Again, you can move the placement with the arrow button and then adding a Gaussian blur. Now my Procreate set is just gonna get you started. You can add more highlights and shadows. So all you have to do is keep adding clipping masks and changing the layer setting appropriately. So here I decided to add more highlights. I wanted to see what it would look like if I had the layer setting on normal. I ended up changing it to add and you can also bring down that opacity if you don't want it to be so strong. Remember there's a little tab on the bottom of the shape if you want to add a string. If not, you can just go back into your shape layer and with the eraser tool, just erase it. And that's how you can create a foil balloon letter in Procreate in five easy steps. If you want to check out my Procreate set, all the links will be down in the caption. And be sure to like and subscribe.